Well, excitement in the air. We've all known about this date for a long time, and the stage is set in the Spanish capital for the UEFA Champions League final. Hello, everyone. I'm Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary, as always, on these big occasions by Lee Dixon. And we're approaching kickoff time here at the Estadio Metropolitano. It is Tottenham Hotspur taking on Liverpool. Well, it's an absolute pleasure, Derek, to be here. Very, very lucky indeed to be broadcasting to millions and millions of people, let alone watching this fantastic game. I'm sure the players are a little bit nervous as well with that audience looming in the background, tuning in on their televisions. It's going to be a great night. I'm very excited to be here. Hopefully, we get the game that this tournament deserves. will go with this starting 11 and you tend to know what you're going to get tactically from this team high pressing well high pressing high energy played the system at Arsenal many a year under George Graham it doesn't half work when it works well sometimes you can just get exposed to the back but they've got it down to a tee to be fair with a capacity of almost 68,000, this is a fine football stadium, the Metropolitano here in Madrid. Yeah, I'm very envious of these modern players. They get to play in these really beautiful, beautiful new stadiums. So the starting lineup for Liverpool. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Dejan Lovren in central defence. Sadio Mane starts with Mohamed Salah out wide. And leading the attack today is the ultimate pressing machine, Roberto Firmino. This is it, the Champions League final. They are underway. Who will be crowned club kings of Europe? Sissoko. And Tottenham make progress, but what can they produce from this position? The delivery towards the back post. And clears his lines. Roberto Firmino. Liverpool have given it away. Deli Alli. Let's see what he has in store for them. And the defender finding a solution to the problem. Trippier now. <laughs> and deep into the penalty area. And no nonsense defensive clearance. Christian Eriksen now, and it's with one Yama. It might be the moment to get them ahead. And the goalkeeper, as you would expect, once again doing his job. Yeah, that's it, his job, get behind the ball and save it. Alexander-Arnold, Roberto Firmino. Christian Eriksen now. Bertongen with it. Davis. Certainly Tottenham Hotspur keep improving as a football club. They do want to win something badly. And I wonder how much they would have learned. Harry Kane slips it through. On the pass in behind the defence. Quick thinking from the keeper. Dilly Alley. It's with Fabinho.
Now Ben Davis. Dele Alli needed to be a better ball than that. Henderson has it. Ericsson. Tremendous vision. He's really sliced them open. And this time, it's in. Well, the goal will not stand. It is offside. Yeah, good football there, but just straight offside. And he has been ruled offside here. Can't have been by an awful lot. Oh, I'm not so sure, but the linesman's got a better view than I have. Now Aldebarel. Christian Eriksen now. Deli Alley now. Can he make this move count? And here is Eriksen. Eriksen lost possession. Here's Keita. Andrew Robertson. Naby Keita. Liverpool couldn't keep it. And Tongan with it. Davis. Wanyama has it. And Kane might mean business. Great vision from Harry Kane. Excellent goalkeeping following the tip. Oh, he's read it brilliantly well. Really has. Knew what the player was going to do. Great save. Kane. On Yama. Well, can they get themselves in front here? Well, really, that would be meat and drink to most goalkeepers. Yeah, goalkeeper fully in control there. And playing it through the defence. Not quite. And thwarted by Vertonghen. And the corner for Liverpool. Corner kick played over, and ultimately up a cul-de-sac. Nowhere to go, really. He's being closed down. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. Son with the pass, but not what he had in mind. Son's ball into the middle. But well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. And that signals the end of a tight, tense first half. We're still waiting, Lee, for someone or something to kickstart this Champions League final. Mm, not the best, is it? I'm thinking about my half-time cup of tea and my refreshments and my vegetarian pie, to be honest with you. Let's hope that the half-time team talk from both coaches changes the outcome of this game. And it will be a steak pie for me, as long as somebody can provide it. 45 minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Liverpool have given it away. Now Son. Preferring to go infield. And that's some goalkeeping to hang on to the shot like that. Here's Keita. An abundance of space. Andrew Robertson. Given away. An awful lot of green space to run into. Is he going to punish them here? Or will there be a tangible end product? And it's Harry Kane. Tremendous block. Now it's 
it's Lovren. Henderson has it. Now Mo Salah. It's with Roberto Firmino. Liverpool have given it away. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Christian Eriksen now. Andrew Robertson. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Keita. Quick of thought on the defensive front, Wanyama. Now Harry Kane. Now Son. Now what can he do here? And Deli Alley's up there. Just wanted to get it out of there. Well, there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. And fed forwards. Mane! Well, he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves. Great goalkeeping. Well, he's denied a certain goal there. Great reflexes from the keeper. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Fired over by Henderson. Very clear who got the last touch, so a corner coming up. Elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And a deep ball in. Going for power there, but just too much elevation on the short lead. Yeah, over the bar, Derek, with pace. He's a little unlucky. Now Aldebarel, Dembele, Eriksen, 15 minutes remaining. Alexander-Arnold has it. And intercepted effectively by Wanyama. Slipped through by Lucas. Spurs with the corner. That's a deep corner. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Dembele. And a chance for them to notch in front. Really important tackle. Out of play. And a Spurs throw in forthcoming. Christian Eriksen now. Wanyama has it. forthcoming but it has arrived now well finally the deadlock has been broken not long to go now how will that affect the opposition well let's see that strike again first time is always very very difficult to strike a ball the timing has to be right the technique has to be right but above all you have to concentrate on the ball as it's coming to you you know you're not going to take a touch concentration is everything So back in business, and it's Spurs in front here. Henderson has it. It's with Roberto Firmino. Well, with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them, still the prospect of late excitement in this match. Liverpool have given it away. Moussa Dembele now. Spurs have lost the ball. 
Sadio Mane now. Liverpool continue to advance. Will they be able to convert? The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Here's Robertson. Alexander-Arnold. Henderson has it. I'll tell you what, it's official now. Tottenham Hotspur have been crowned Club Kings of Europe. Well, I never thought I'd say this, but well played Tottenham Hotspur. Absolutely brilliant performance, not only tonight, but also all over the season. To get to the final and win this trophy is a massive achievement. And well played every single member of staff, every player, every coach. Celebrate this moment. It truly is party time for Spurs. And these players fully deserve it. And now the official part of the presentation. The trophy beckons for Tottenham League. Absolutely. I might have to look away at this moment when they pick the trophy up. But I'll try and, I'll try and keep the eyes on it. It's a great, great night for everybody concerned with the club. And the captain now gets that pleasurable moment putting his hands on the trophy. And this is the moment for Tottenham. Champions League winners. What a feeling it must be. Well, half of North London will be rocking tonight. The other half might have gone away for the weekend. Absolutely brilliant, brilliant night for Tottenham Hotspur. Yes, congratulations to all concerned. One more lift, why not? Up with the big ears, as it's affectionately known. And this is the moment, Derek, sharing it with the supporters. You get a chance to take it a little bit closer to those stands. Let them enjoy the experience with you. And the families are up there in the stands as well. A brilliant occasion. It took fire as well as ice on the pitch. Necessary qualities. Now the chance for a photograph. My mum always told me to get on the front row. She taught you well, Lee. There we have it. The Champions League victors for 2019.